What's happening people, AD here from Technocrate and today we are doing the software review of the Samsung Galaxy S3. We've already done the hardware review of the particular phone and I'll have the link below in the description. Hit that subscribe button somewhere on top after the YouTube layout change somewhere there to check out more of my videos and if you enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up. Okay, without any much further ado, let's just go ahead and check this phone out. not all over the phone, at least in the lock screen, Samsung has delivered what they promised. The Galaxy S3 is truly nature inspired by the touch whiz skin, giving ripples and a watery effect on the lock screen. The phone is capable of carrying 7 home screens, which unlike the Samsung Galaxy S2 can be shifted with iOS like Fluidity. Wow. Call quality on the phone is beyond doubt extremely awesome, with clear voice on both ends of the line. And I'm pretty sure that's because the voice cancellation microphone doing its job miraculously. The keypad is a big one with no problems at all. You can type in the number without making any mistakes like you would in a small screen device. Browsing the phone is an exceptionally amazing experience due to its 4.8 Super AMOLED HD screen with a 306 pixels per inch. Panning is flawless, you can zoom into text without losing clarity and overall enjoy the experience with the huge but mentaculously beautiful screen which I will surely talk about towards the end of the video. Going over to S Voice, the freaking Siri clone from Samsung is a quite helpful app if not polished enough as Siri itself sometimes it's not accurate and sometimes it does not take input at all and obviously can't do things that Siri can but it's a start in the voice assistant work of Samsung. You can check the weather set an alarm or send a text and do other stuff with it but on my side of the view I think it's really horrifying that Samsung launched such an unprofessional and not yet polished app. The camera is the next big thing of this device. Yes, it's the camera. The 8 megapixel shooter is a wonder on its own. It takes photos as sharp as reality and even better videos. It's got a series of functions best shot, body photo share, panorama and share shot being the best ones. For the icing and the cake, it's also got loads of effects. Videos are obviously awesome and uh, can be recorded on 1080p. We can also take pictures while recording video with the Samsung Galaxy S3. With the Jelly Bean upgrade now launched for the Samsung Galaxy S3, we get Google Now which is a step ahead of Siri with cards and information appearing on screen whenever you require. It has voice assistance which even though almost every time gives you a Google search, it is more than helpful in day to day work. You can search for the weather with launching the weather card or find out how much time to get home from where you are. The cards concept is an instant hit with navigation routes coming up from past Google searches or the ones that you search for. The sports card gives you latest info on your favorites and the weather and many more such cards are truly helpful. Going over to more native apps, we have S Memo, which is quite creative in the Note 2 but offers few functions in the S3 including handwriting and a few preloaded templates. The S Planner, the Samsung name for its calendars, it is quite a cool app. You can change from year, month to the day view and slide through whichever you are on. Just tap the plus button on top of the screen to schedule a new meeting or appointment. It really has an amazing look to it and takes you good through the day's agenda. The phone's got a huge variety of widgets with the NDTV widget being one of my favorites. You have the headlines right on screen along with uh, the stocks and the live scores. You've also got the flipboard widget which is resizable and shows you your top stories right on the home screen. The phone's image quality is an absolute shocker. Zooms into your images without blurring them, focus on what you want and get the best from the 8 megapixel camera. You can also pan to zoom. Video playback, be it recorded or the videos that you put into your phone, has nothing to be said about. It is amazingly clear with each and every pixel as sharp as you see with your own eye. It's got a fun feature that gives you a preview of the video right in the video's home screen. 
and something that I really wanted to tell you about from the starting of the video is pop up play which allows you to see video while doing any other work on your phone and it does not even slow down your phone the video pops right out and it gets a small window on your home screen and you can browse and do what you want the phone's got a wide variety of settings you can check your data usage how many MBs you've downloaded on the phone through cellular you can set data limits which stops you from downloading anything above your limit you can also tether that allows you to create a Wi-Fi hotspot wherever you are right from your phone with Jelly Bean you can also change your home screen mode switching from basic to advanced keeping your uh, depending on your reliability the basic mode gives you an easier looking interface and we've also got a wide variety of live wallpapers my favorite is being the news wall which gives you headlines right on your home screen and the same is with the stocks wall which gives you stocks right in the home screen and it's like the background of your device so it's it's really nice not forgetting about the beautiful still wallpapers that we have that too are admirable you've got other things in settings like smart stay feature that keeps your screen on as long as you're looking at it you've got battery info to tell you which apps suck how much of your juice innovations that Samsung has got into this device are shown most on the lock screen you know its high customizable nature allowing you to unlock your phone by face and lock or as much as a simple swipe you can customize the shortcuts on the screen which allow you to quick launch particular apps you also got camera quick access with something like this other exclusive S3 features which are really innovative and heads off to Samsung to such innovations include direct call, smart alert, double tap to top, tilt to zoom and many more which would seriously take long time to explain and I don't want to keep a video on an overall the Galaxy S3 is an amazing phone it's got 3G, 4G in US variants it's got Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich now upgradable to Jelly Bean it's got an HD Super AMOLED screen 4.8 inches true 720p HD and it also has a quad core processor which has 1.4 GHz in it and 1.5 GHz in the US variants it's got a brilliant 8 megapixel shooter and a 1.9 megapixel front camera it's amazingly thin at 0.6 cm it has a huge battery 2100 mAh I'd recommend this phone any day in that price bracket and what's more it's like one of the top phones and it's not that too much costly in the US you get it for $200 on a contract here in India you get it for around 31,000 32,000 but it's an amazing phone it's got the Note 2 in comparison but the Note 2 doesn't have that pocketable size compared to the S3 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, found it uh, informative so if, uh, you, if you want to do more videos on this phone be sure to comment and subscribe to my channel hit that like button right below you and uh, I'll see you in the next video AD signing out